to start a tour in the city, in the old city of Jerusalem. Because, why it's interesting, because the foundations is a first century synagogue. The foundation is Jewish. We will go and visit later and see where is... Where is believed to be the tomb of King David. All right. Above it is a church built in the Crusader period. Then later, the Muslims came and made it a mosque. All right. So if you ask me, what is this? Is it a synagogue? Is it a church? Or is it a mosque? It's, this is the story of Jerusalem. Yeah. I just will continue. The problem lies here inside. Yes. Whom it belongs to. Because you, if you ask a Jew, a Christian, or a Muslim, it says it belongs to me. Okay. All right? Uh, no one is ready to compromise. But it's a unique place because really here, in the old city, you can hear the bells of the churches, you can hear the call of prayer, and the prayer in the synagogues, all at the same time. All at the same time. As I told you, the Jews pray this direction towards the Holy of Holies. Inside the synagogue, you see a niche and the direction towards the Temple Mount, the Temple area. In the mosque, I will show you the prayer direction for the Muslims towards Mecca, this direction. And for the Christians, <laughs> up, that direction. It's another phase, it's a different level. This is why they don't get it. Okay? Yes, straight up to, to heaven. Look at uh, the foundations below us is Jewish, okay, first century, we will see in a few moments. Then later you see the Crusader Church, you see the arches, this is Crusader Church. Then later you see the, the dome, you see how the dome is built over the arch? So that's later, Muslim. You see the windows, this is Muslim, this is some inscriptions. And this is the prayer direction to Mecca. All right, so below is foundations is the tomb of David. This is why the Muslims didn't destroy this church, actually. They believe David is a prophet, is a king. Then later, the Crusaders built a church. Then the Muslims came and connected the synagogue with the church and built a dome. But you see this beautiful column? You see the capital? You see a mother pelican and two children eating from her chest? You see? You see this one? You see the mother pelican? Now this was a Christian symbol. Somewhere in the altar. To show, it's a symbol of communion. Why is that? They used to think in the first century that we know now it's not true, but that's what they used to think. If a pelican see her children about to die, she's ready to open her mouth and for them to eat from her, from her own flesh and blood so that they survive. So this is a symbol of Jesus having his last supper and giving us his flesh and blood. So it was a Christian symbol in the altar, but the Muslims reused it, okay? Reused the stone and the column to build. Now, this is believed to be where Jesus had his last supper with his disciples.